Hey guys, Fred Stekop here. Welcome back to my channel. So the long-awaited Techno Phantom X2 series is here. Guys, Techno is pushing the envelope here by giving us a device that can stand or rub shoulders with the big boys when it comes to raw performance. Techno is a brand that is known for its budget-friendly models that offers good quality and performance at an affordable price. The introduction of the X2 series with top tier specification has taken the mobile industry by storm. Because this is the first time Techno is taking a different approach by releasing a device that aims to offer flagship specifications and experiences. This is a device that has built so much hype and momentum even before launch. But the question is, does it really live up to the hype? Let's find out. Before we jump into the main review, let's start with the unboxing experience. As you can see here, the packaging is actually different from what we've seen lately from any techno device. It comes with an excellent square shape box. The box is divided into three compartments. The first compartment contains the phone. The second compartment contains a type A to type C USB cable and the earpiece. Then the third partition here contains the 45 watt fast charger. There's another small box underneath that carries the SIM ejector tool a 12 plus one more warranty card and a free hard case. The case is really interesting from all perspectives, from the integrated kickstand to the texture that feels so nice to touch and the build quality. Upon unboxing, you can immediately appreciate the premium design of the Phantom X2 and the attention to detail Techno has put into it. I mean, this device feels premium. The design of the Techno Phantom X2 is modern and sleek. It has a unibody cuffed design with rounded edges and a glass bag that makes it comfortable to hold. For a device this big, one might think it is a heavy device, but that's not the case here. It feels lightweight and comfortable. The moonlight silver finish on the back of this device gives it a premium feel and I'll say the overall design looks very attractive and expensive. The design integrates the screen and back cover with a thin metal frame for a smooth look and feel. The design of this device is something to behold. It feels solid and well put together. The rest out of the device features a massive camera bomb that houses three cameras and guys, this is the biggest camera bomb I've seen on any phone. The whole thing screams a photography powerhouse. Speaking of the camera, the Phantom X2 comes with a 64 megapixels main sensor, a 30 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. We're going to go into details with the camera in a moment. For the display, the Techno Phantom X2 has a large 6.8 inches AMOLED display with a 1080 by 2400 resolution and a maximum brightness of 500 nits. It's a punch hole style that has a single 32 megapixel selfie camera. It displays curved just as its predecessor, giving it a modern look. It has a 120Hz high refresh rate, allowing for smooth and lag free gaming and user experience. I really love how colorful and vibrant the display looks. Being an AMOLED display, viewing angles are great, making it suitable for watching movies and videos. If I were to describe the display in one sentence, I would say it offers a cinematic experience. The display also gets additional protection from Gorilla Glass Victus. This will ensure that it remains scratch-free and durable. Overall, the Techno Phantom X2 has an excellent display that will please anyone that touches it. However, at this price point, I really wish the display could have gone above 500 nits of brightness and also support HDR, considering what the competition is offering even at a lower cost. For the external features, the power button and volume controls are located at the right side of the device. As you can see, the bottom of the device has the SIM card tray that can hold two nano SIM cards. It doesn't have a space for a micro SD card. Also, at the bottom, we have a microphone, a USB Type-C charging port and the speaker grill leaving the top of the device with another microphone. If you take a look at it, you'll notice it is missing one thing, which is the headphone jack. However, the included earpiece is a type with a USB Type-C connector, so you're not really missing anything. For security features, the Techno Phantom X2 comes with a modern on-screen fingerprint scanner, which is fast and responsive. There's also a face unlock that is super fast as well, but I feel like the on-screen fingerprint scanner on here is slightly more secure. Now let's talk about performance because that's one of the major highlights of this device. The performance of the Techno Phantom X2 is impressive, super impressive. It is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 9005G chipset, an octa-core 4 nanometer processor clocked at 2.6 GHz. It is paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 GB of internal storage, providing plenty of space to store games, videos, music and more. The RAM can also be expanded up to 13GB through memory fusion technology. 13GB is plenty if you should ask me. The device runs on Android 12 providing a modern and intuitive user experience. In terms of gaming, the Techno Phantom X2 is more than capable of handling 
the latest titles with ease. The 120Hz high refresh rate display ensures smooth and lag free gameplay. And the Mali G77 MC9 GPU ensures great graphics fidelity. As you can see from the benchmark results here, we have an impressive single and multi core score from Geekbench and it almost triggered to a million on Antutu benchmark results. Guys, this is super fantastic. This is the first time we are seeing something mind blowing from Techno. I played Call of Duty Mobile and the gameplay was super smooth, no lag or whatsoever. Everything you throw on this device just flies. However, there are one or two downsides of the Techno Phantom X2, which is heat management. The device gets warm up slightly but thankfully it doesn't affect the performance. The second issue I have with it is the mono speaker that it comes with. For a device at this price point, I actually expected better. Its predecessor had a stereo speakers and that was amazing. I don't know why they decided to drop it on the X2 here. To be honest, it doesn't sound great at all, especially if you take a look at what the competition is offering. The Techno Phantom X2 comes with Android 12 out of the box. It features a custom skin which is Techno's iOS version 12.0. I mean, it's a familiar user interface that we've come to love, even though some might dislike the preloaded Bluetooth way it comes with. Thanks to a faster refresh rate and a beefy processor, the whole software experience is super smooth. Navigating through the UI is super responsive. I haven't noticed any lag for the past weeks that I've been using it. However, for it not to come with Android 13 could be a major letdown for some people, but don't freak out because Techno is promising a two-year major software update for the Phantom X2, meaning that it will receive an update to Android 13 and Android 14 when it is released. Moving on to the battery, the Techno Phantom X2 comes with a huge battery capacity. It's a 5160 mAh battery that can endure for a very long time. I've used this device for over a week and I can boldly say that it can comfortably last a whole day or more than a day if you're an average user. For a flagship device, it is very impressive. Another thing to mention is the charging speed of the Techno Phantom X2. The included 45 watt charger took only 61 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. So in merely an hour, you can quickly go from 0 to 100%. Guys, that is very impressive. Now let's move on to the most important aspect of the Techno Phantom X2, which is the camera. It comes with a 64 megapixels main sensor, a 13 megapixels ultra wide angle camera with a macro mode, and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. The Phantom X2 captures good daylight looking images with a satisfactory amount of details. It has punchy colors, decent dynamic range, and accurate exposure. The new 64 megapixel sensor introduces a new era of photography. Images are well refined, and I like how enhanced and saturated most of the images appear. It offers some level of consistency on all images and that goes to show the effort and optimization Techno has done with the camera. Indoor shot shows how impressive the camera is. The ability to let a more light result in desired indoor photos that look sharp, detailed and well exposed. The Super Night Mode is one amazing feature I love from the camera because it improves the background brightness and reduces noise on the image. There are some degree of clarity in its night images which I really love. When it comes to portraits, it is amazing but it still requires some improvement. Generally, portrait images are good and with good edge detection. I'm really impressed with its quality and how it handles dynamic range. The 32 megapixel selfie camera is very impressive and the dynamic range looks good too. I like how the selfie camera is able to retain more details and also like the color reproduction. Selfie portrait looks good as well and I like the skin tone. For videos, the Techno Phantom X2 comes with an optical image stabilization and it performs really well. You can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second, which is impressive. The overall video quality is very decent. I like how sharp it looks and how it handles exposure. Hey guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Techno Phantom X2, currently shooting in 1080p 30 frames per second. When you're shooting using the front facing camera, you're stuck at just 1080p, no 4K on the front camera right here. Uh, but the footage looks great, looks okay. What do you guys think? I feel like dynamic range is okay. Not the best that I've seen, but it's actually okay. Uh, you guys should let me know what you think about these in the comment section below, okay? For the price, the Techno Phantom X2 costs 373,900 Naira, while the Phantom X2 Pro costs 470,900. At this price, I feel like the Phantom X2 series are really competitive. Guys, Techno is really pushing the envelope here with its innovative design and build quality. It comes with excellent cameras, an impressive AMOLED display, amazing design, and a very good battery life. Overall, the Techno Phantom X2 offers excellent performance and great value for money. So guys, those are my thoughts about the all-new Techno Phantom X2. 
kindly share your thoughts with me in the comment section below let's discuss if you enjoyed watching this video kindly give me a like and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one